presidency opens up on Buhari's leaked speech hours before Monday's national broadcast. The presidency has disclosed that someone obtained and leaked the draft of President Muhammadu Buhari's speech hours before the national broadcast on Monday. This was disclosed by the special advisor to President on Media and Publicity, Femi Adeshino, when he appeared on TVC News. The leaked version of the president's speech was full of errors and was already circulating on social media before the actual broadcast to the nation, to the nation at 8 p.m. Adishino was asked to clear the confusion on the lockdown where some newspapers reported different dates and he said there is just one authentic copy of the broadcast which is the one released from the media office. But then, I recognize that a copy of hours before the broadcast is safe, a copy of the purported speech had been circulating particularly on WhatsApp. If you compare the two, yes, there are some similarities, but then there are also wide differences. You have just mentioned the effective day particularly of the gradual easing of the lockdown. What happened was that somebody got hold of the initial draft of the broadcast and played hanky panky with it by releasing it through the social media. If you know the processes that a broadcast goes through before it gets recorded, the scripts will originate from the relevant government agency, department, parastata or of ministry, whoever is that agency, ministry or parastata sign up on it and then they send it to the presidential office. When it gets to the presidential office, it gets through a number of hands again because the president's thought must be infused and injected into that draft. There are some things that may be in that that the president may completely not agree with. Finally, it comes to the media office and I sign on it, which I also did yesterday before the broadcast was recorded. I signed on the final copy before the broadcast was recorded. Hmm. So, some hours before the recording was played back, I saw something circulating on social media. I knew that that was not the copy that I signed off on. Then we began to investigate. It has been found out that the original script from the inception was that was what somebody laid hands on and released to the social media. Well, mainstream media knows how we release our statements. Whatever documents we, that we are releasing, they should know how to authenticate it. It comes from the media office. So if any mainstream media is now taking its information from the social media, that mainstream media is to be blamed because we duly released the authentic copy of the broadcast by 8.06 p.m. So the mainstream media should not have depended on a leaked copy and turns out to have many discrepancies compared with the original and final copy <laughs> so guys uh, this uh, whole thing has been going on uh, for some days even before the broadcast or the broadcast was made we'll be hearing whatever different different things and, and i was just wondering how come the people now know what is going to happen because a lot of things that the president said just like he the uh, the spokesperson said as well that there are similarities and there are some uh, differences between the leaked one and the one the president himself uh, broadcasted. You know, the question we see even need to ask is that how come they did not even package themselves well? How come this kind of a thing is happening? Because we know that from time to time, government has always been, and that is how it ought to be. So who and who are working, or who and who is really working with them? Who are the people working with them that this whole thing, because to me, it's a discredit on their part because they didn't do their due diligence, their homework very well because they just left it everything shabby because this thing must, you know who and who, even according to what he said, that this thing has a processes and that processes, you should have guided it uh, very, very well because it's a very important thing. So this idea of coming to tell us, hey, hey, this and that, you know how it works. But if there's similarity, that means it got leaks, it got leaks. That is what it means. And she's testifying it that it got leaked. That somebody who is the somebody? How did you do it? Who are the people working with you that you people cannot do things rightly? Ordinary, uh, this thing that is what is now flittering everywhere. You can imagine that the whole thing is they are not just coordinated. Let's hear what people are saying concerning this because Nigerians must talk, they must say something. Someone says, I'm crying for this. 
can uh, with this kind of leadership may God help us to so Kanu is saying the truth hmm who shall not head <laughs> I don't know what this person is talking about shall? anything that is uh copy with lies copy with lies is false and is fake so it's Nigeria fake fake government that I have never seen APC with lies before it was padded budget now leaked broker speech who will save us from this government? Oh. Some are waking up from their deep slumber. To them, APC gender tricks. Good money. It's high time Nigeria starts believing Namde Kanu. He has said it all about this government. You can imagine. <laughs> now they are trying to tell us, distract us. Oh, Namde is dead. Namde is whatever. The same thing Namde Kanu is using. The same strategy they want to use it. To me, it's not going to work. And I just really... I uh, want to hold on to what somebody said that even if I Nam the Kano dies, the ideology of Biafra or Ipo will not die. That is what they are not getting. Because they believe that the guy is a strong force. Is a strong force. That's why they want to use the same thing is accusing them of you know him. But that's by the wayside. Uh some say the only thing that does not leak from there is when money is involved. Hmm. Chop and claim out. But it's it's still a leak. Oh. Liar Mohammed, Gaba Shewu and Demi. We soon blame it on the past administration or the opposition. Confused set of people. Of course, uh, that is what they always say. When someone is laughing. So who could that be? How many of you are in Aso Villa? You should be head responsible. You think you are a smart guy. You don't you don't you don't fall your hand now. This shows how unserious you guys are in the presidency. Faith government that lacks coordination. Exactly. How come? How come we are talking of government here? Uh, uh, this thing is leaking again. How come? They will soon blame it on past administration or the opposition. That is their, that is their, whatever. Uh, biggest lies coming from the bottomless pit. You people are not ashamed. So someone have to write and you Femi will sign and call it live brokers. Hey, fools. So stop calling it live brokers. Instead, recorded brokers. Of course, that is it. Recorded. According to what you said, you heard him. As far as for the person who released the recorded brokers, he knew that you people are playing policies. You people are deceiving us. Why can't our president come live on television so journalists will ask him, ask him questions about the situation on ground? The same thing, you know, uh, is the question is asking, you know, they say, oh, this woman should bring her head. Why is she asking? What does that mean? Even the Trump that is and that. Maybe that was why they immediately just released a, a press statement yesterday. Like Mohammed, that's a what is this man's name? The president of America, Trump, called him. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that the president, American president, called a, a Buari baby because just to patch this whole thing. Okay, it could be that's my opinion, though. And uh, someone says, Yeah, that we have a fake government shredded in secrecy, uh, shredded in secrecy. NCDC has failed us, the rise. In COVID-19 going up, Nigeria is doomed. Doctors rise up to your responsibility and act responsibly. Did you just say recorded? Was it not live broadcast as we were made to believe? Ah, now wow. Now wow. According to what uh, this man said, now you all heard what uh, Femi Adesino said there. Eh? Wow. When it gets to the presidential office, it gets through a number of hands. Again, because the president's thoughts must be infused and injected into the drafts. And there was a place it was okay. Finally, it comes to media office, and I sign it. I sign on it. I also did yesterday before the broadcast was recorded. Mm -hmm. I signed on it on the final copy before the broadcast was uh, recorded. Some hours before the recording was played. For hours, the, the recorded the recording was played back. I saw something circulating on social media. I knew that that was not the copy I signed off. Hmm. Then we began to investigate. How come? How porous can that you know can 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 that be? How porous can the system be to that extent that you could not have a a structured coordination? <laughs> Let me see if I can put if there's anything like that. It's unfortunate. So guys. 
you've heard from Adeshino, the, the leaked whatever that's been circulating social media. Leave your comments below and let us see what you really think about this whole thing. Thank you.